Hi everyone! Welcome back sa akin channel. Ang video ito ay papakita ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng another recipe na naman. Pero hindi ako ang gagawa ang asawa ko. Uh, sa Norwegian, yung tawag nila, shinky steak. Pero sa English, ewan ko kung anong tawag yun. Pero gamit yung baboy at saka carrots, uh, red onion, garlic, uh, at iba ito pang sangkap na gagamitin. At ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung... Paano at anong tawag? Siya nang bahalang magpapaliwanag sa ano yung ginagawa niya. <laughs> at guys, kung uh, bago pa kayo sa aking channel, huwag niyong kalimutan mag-like, subscribe, at hit yung notification bell para naman ma-update ko po kayo sa darating na mga videos at sa iiba ko pang video. At maraming salamat po. Halina kayo, ipapakita ko po sa inyo kung paano gumawa ng pork stick. Hindi ko alam kung pork stick ba yun sa Norwegian. Uh, <laughs> For some reason, she asked me again, and by the way, I'm Kai, and welcome. She's going to make some food, and guess who's going to make it? It's going to be me. Okay, so, what we have here today? We have pork roast, and we're going to make pork roast in Norwegian style. So, the first thing I do is my knife, my butcher knife. And what can I do? Oh, this is not a butcher knife, this is very sharp. And what I'm going to do is to make slices in the skin. Like that, and so salt and pepper. And don't be shy. And you also need some of the skin. Do you see anything the way she holds the camera? <laughs> this is heat. I need some other kind of pepper. Powder. Powder pepper. Do you like it? No. Do you like it? Do you like it? I know. Okay. So, if we don't have, then we make. Then we need some pepper. Do you like something like that, maybe? You oh, try. A little more. It's okay. Like that. Not like pink at all. So, what do you do? I had this whole pepper and this salt crystal. The reason I do that is because the salt crystal is going to help me to grind the pepper. Let's see if we can. Like that. There you go. This is perfect. Like that. So, then what? Wait, I have 
prepared some vegetables. I have some carrots which I'm going to put around this pork roast. And I have some onion. And you can maybe ask why do I do this? And this is carrots, onion and garlic. They make some aroma to the meat. Because frankly, and I think you all agree, pork meat does not taste anything. It is kind of flat on taste, so you always need to uh, to add some uh, vegetables or some herbs or anything to make it taste anything. So, okay, and my next ingredients would be some gases in liquid form, hydrogen and oxygen. We call it water in Norway. Fresh water, but now I forgot one thing, and that is, it's not going to happen like that. I'm going to turn it around like this. No, we are talking there. So, then what? Well, I'm going to use some aluminum foil. What is, uh, what is the right way? You can ask the audience. Is this the right way or is this the right way? Which? Yeah. I don't know. Which is which? Which is which? <laughs> is it the shiny side up, uh, up or is it the shiny up? The shiny side down. Yeah, that I do. Is it? So, I already have made the oven, it's ready for 200 degrees centigrade I'm going to put that in about there 2 hours? or 1 hour? And ah, then... this is going to stay for like 40 or 45 minutes 40-45 minutes yeah okay. and it smells it smells delicious. And I have no idea how it looks. Uh, first, the temperature is down. 75. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is like... Wow. Okay, let's see if I can turn this over. Oi, oi, oi. What are they? Pasta? Eh? A little more salt on the top there, I guess. Let's to make it. The temperature is about 170 degrees, and I'm going to put this one in. I'm going to have like 70, 70 some place between 70 and 75 degrees in the center of the roast. So uh, let's see, I'm going to put it in the mic. Oh. How long? Another 45 minutes? At least one hour, maybe one. two. Ay, ay, ay. It's going to be like 70 or 75 degrees. So, and then like that. I need to make some sauce. Uh, 
it's absolutely enough butter. And what do I make sauce from? Oh, well, I use butter and I use wheat flour and water. Sometimes I use a little red wine. As you see, I did not add anything. I did not add salt. I did not add pepper. I did not add anything before. Maybe now, because now I was using water from the, uh, from the pork roast. And that has salt and pepper and garlic and onion and so on. And now I'm adding on the water. So let's see what is happening in the, in the pork roast is 70 degrees by now. And I add a little soy, not like that. And some for sister sauce. Don't need any pepper. Excellent. You can boil a little like that. And Cheese? No. Cream. Instead of cream, a little milk to touch it down. Like 
hofft nicht. Und ein Dash. Oh. Okay. Perfect. So, this one going to simmer while we are waiting for the roast. Good. For. Uh, it is kind of done. What's so cool? I don't know when you hope that. I didn't find it out. Yeah, okay. This is how it looks after uh, one and a half hour. First it was 45 minutes with the skin down in water and then I turn it, flip it over and put it in uh, the oven for one and a half hour, 175 degrees. Now it will rest while we are waiting for the potatoes. <laughs>